I think that there is the potential that lots of interesting tools will come out uh, from AI that will help us, will help advisors, will help end uh, investors. And the way I think about any tool is kind of categorized into three things, which is the quality of the tool, the purpose that you're going to use it for, and the skill of the user, right? And when you look at things like AI or machine learning or natural language processing, the, the quality has improved over time because the quality, there's three components that are going to drive that quality. One is the quality of the software that's written to process the data and software techniques and coding and all that sort of stuff has improved over time. Codes have become more sophisticated. The data sets that they're trained on have also gotten larger and have improved over time. So again, more improvements there. It hasn't happened overnight. It didn't just happen this year. It's been happening for decades. And then the computational power that's available to run these tools has also increased. So if you typed in a question and it took you two hours to get an answer, that tool is far less useful than if you type in a question and it takes you one second to get an answer, right? So I think the purpose though is important because when I think about AI and functions like the chat types of functions, where they do well is when the uh, kind of the truth, the objective truth is unambiguous. Is there a cat in this picture? Yes or no? It does a great job there because you can train it on many thousands of pictures. You can give a great feedback. You were right this time, you were wrong that time. And it can uh, learn and it's, a, it's kind of unequivocal. The truth is, is right there. Where it also does a good job then is, can you make that cat meow for me? It can look at hundreds of videos of cats meowing and say, okay, let me make that picture of a cat meow. Okay, great. So it does a good job of those types of things. But when there is not a kind of objective unequivocal truth, like is the discount rate applied to the future cash flows of this stock too high or too low, there's no truth there that people will agree on. And it does a far less good job of answering those types of questions. So you have to understand the purpose that you're using any tool for. And that's in kind of an important facet. The last part I'd say is the skill. And skill is always important. And this is why I don't think it's going to replace humans anytime soon. It's what's the right question to ask? How do you interpret the answer that you've gotten from that question? And then how do you act upon that answer? And those still require people. Because if you don't ask the right question, the answer that you're going to get is kind of meaningless. How do you ask the right question? You have to understand the data that it's using and how you want to use those data to actually address a particular question. And I think with AI, people don't understand fully the data sets that are being used because the data quality of anything you can find on the internet, probably some of that data quality is low and some of that data quality is high. Uh, but nobody understands the total breadth of that data quality. What to do with the insights, uh, that requires expertise as well. So I, I think I always think about a tool as the quality, the purpose, and the skill. Uh, and all of those are equally important when it comes to AI and what are the right ways to use it in an organization.